Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am Harini. Today I am here with double cottage blouse. It comprises of four pieces, including waistband. Drafting technique is similar to that of a single cottage blouse. The only difference here is that cottage is split into two pieces, which forms a double cottage. If you haven't seen my videos on single cottage blouse yet, I recommend you to watch that as well. The link has been provided in the description box. So, here I have done the markings. The full length of the blouse is 15 inches. I just added two more inches, so 17. Let me mark there, 17 inches. Now, shoulder is 14 inches. I have reduced one inch, so 13. Half of 13 is six and a half inches. So, shoulder six and a half inches. Take down the same measurement here too. Six and a half inches. Shoulder slope half inch. Connect the line from neck to shoulder. Now the shoulder length is six inches. Take the midpoint of that. It's three. Point there. From there, make one more mark. Three by four inches in. It's for our front armhole. Now, give a free hand curl shape crossing over the mark point of reference to front arm on this way. From the corner to front arm on distance is 0.75 inch. Here, neck width is 3 inches. Neck depth, 7 inch diagonally. Same width to be taken down, 3 inches. From the corner of the box, mark 3 by 4 to give a shape to our front neck. Next, here chest is 42, I have added 4 to that, so 46, 1 fourth of 46 is 11 and a half inches, plus 2 and a half inches taken for losing purpose. Similarly, waist round is 34 inches, 1 fourth of 34 is 8 and a half inches. Plus take extra two and a half inches. Connect chest point to waist point. I have already drawn there. Okay. Now on the left hand side mark four inch above from the bottom line, and on the right side three inch above. This marking is done for the fashion putty. We need to give a little curve shape while cutting. That I'll explain while cutting. Next, the bust point is 10 inch. It should be taken middle of the shoulder. So bust point is 10 inches. Now, from top on left, take 10 and a half inches, it's one fourth of the chest, that is 42 is one fourth is 10 and a half inches, I have marked that, 10 and a half inches, from this point straight on the right side, take 8 inches, that is one fourth of the chest, that is 10 and a half minus 2 and a half inches, so 8 we get. Now point the midpoint of 8, that is 4 inch, this will be our dart point, okay. Now from the neckline, 
come down take four and a half inches then from the front arm hole 1.75 inches this will be our second pawn now connect these three points by drawing a free hand curve crossing eight extend till the waistline okay so now cut to shape is already given from here on left mark 3 by 4 inches above and give curve shape similarly on the other side 3 by 4 inches give curve shape here too okay this will be the first part second part third is side part and fourth one is yoke patti belt okay now armhole is double of front armhole that is 1 and 1/2 inches from this point give a curve shape this is back armhole and point 7 phase front armhole the curve shape has been given now here we get only 2 inches just measure we get 3 inches so we need 3 inches patti center patti and the width of the dart is 1 inch either sides total 2 inches so we need patti of 3 inches length plus half inch allowance and width should be more than this that i'll explain step by step okay now we'll cut along the mark first we'll cut belt part next side part we have to cut along the front armor shape shoulder slope half inch cut the piece cut the center line this is a straight piece then the cow shapes too So these are the cutouts. We will place these pieces on the fabric. See, so these are the cutouts. Now I'm going to place this on the fabric. Belt part, center part, cutter part, side part. So total four parts. Now. we will place these pieces on the fabric back part marking has been done i have marked the outline trace it out on the fabric by marking along its outline now we will measure this half cutter is bottom part it's 8.75 so 
we need 8.75 plus 2 inches dart width so 9.75 plus half inch allowance so total 11.25 per T required center part would be 3 and half inch length and the width would be 11.25 okay there is 8.75 plus 2 plus half inch allowance so 11.25 total width required this cutter piece we are going to attach to this part to this long curve here half inch allowance required here we are going to attach yoke patti so half inch required here too This is the armhole side where we are going to attach sleeves. Cutter is all the sides, seam allowance is required except neck part. Now for the belt piece also, here we need half inch allowance, this portion not required. I have laid it out for reference. See, here all allowances required. This portion button putty, there other parts will be attached. Okay, markings have been done. We will cut along the mark. As I told before, cutter piece should be placed on the cross piece which is more stretchable compared to our straight piece. Here we will have good fitting in that area. See these are the pieces, I am just laying out these pieces in order to give an idea of how they are to be sewn together after giving that it will match the length ok now these are the components mark the center point by giving notch this is straight part here we are going to see a dart fold in middle and mark a dart point the width of the dart is 1 inch so we have taken here 1 inch so same which should be taken here too length will be 3 inches as we have taken 
three and a half inches length. So here we will take three inch dot, half inch for the seam allowance. Stitch along the mark. Double stitch it. Now we will attach cutter piece to the straight piece, match the notches, align it neatly. Stitch them together. Start from the one end of the curve. When you reach near the dart, just lift the footer up, needle down, and reposition the fabric. Stitch till the other end, give double stitch to strengthen. Trim of extras. I'm going to attach side part to the cutlery part. Place right on right side. Start sewing them together from one end to the other end. Give double stitch. I have other part ready here. We need to trim off the extras to level it. The center portion. Now I'm going to attach yoke patti. Here just uh, trim off the extra. At the bottom just around 3 by 4 inches give curve shape and trim off. This should be done in this stage only just to get the shape Look here after stitch just 
comparing with the cutouts. It matches. Now place waistband right on right side and the curve side. Align it neatly. Start sewing. When you reach near the tuck, just fold it this way to avoid wrinkle. Then complete the stitch. Take the next yoke patti, place it on the straight side. Stitch them together, leaving quarter inch. Your top stitch as usual. This method I have already shown in my previous video. Easy method of stitching a sari blouse. You can please refer it. Now fold the shoulder part and sandwich it between the two yoke patties this way and stitch on the previous seam. See now, bring the body spot out and you can see the stitches have been concealed. It looks very neat. Now trim off quarter inch at the edge of the neckline. Here we are going to attach hook putty, fold it in lengthwise. Start sewing from the button putty side right on right side. The strip should be around 9 to 10 inches long and 2 and a half inches width. Now give a top stitch. Now fold it inwards. Give a stitch on that. Fold it neatly. Complete the stitch. Similarly, complete the eye putty. I have other part ready here. Just measure. It's 8 inch mark there. From this point, we are going to attach bias putty. But here I am going to use triple cord piping to my front and back neckline. I will show how to make triple cord piping as requested. This is the piping cord. 
have placed it in golden strip just put the stitch very close to the cord by using zipper foot this way so i have completed golden piping similarly take the blue bias and stitch them and make a long strip like this we need blue piping also now just place blue piping on the golden piping and give a stitch next to that then need to place third cord on the blue patti like this this way triple cord will be ready so i have done here first place to blue patti on the golden then golden on the blue you may use multi color strips as i had only two i placed blue in center see now our triple cord piping is ready this i am going to place to my back neck line place right on right this way and start sewing on the wrong side stitch very close to the cord like this So I have attached triple cord piping to my back neck line. See how beautiful it looks. I have attached triple cord to my front neck line also. This piece I have taken from the sari. That's the actual blouse piece. I haven't used it here as it is too flashy. So the front and back neckline is ready here. Now I'm going to attach front panel and the back panel. Here the full length of the blouse is 15 as I said. Sleeve length is 4. Sleeve round is 7 and half inches. Half of 15. Armhole circumference 8 and half inches. Half of 17. 
just 42 21 this side so 10 inches one side and other side 11 inches total 21 inches front side not to include eye putty similarly waist is 34 so here I have taken 8 inches and other side 9 inches total 17 inches front side and 17 inches to be taken back side here back neck is 10 inch deep width of the back part is 17 inches this point not to take because we have taken 1 inch for the dart so new mark should be taken now we will stitch along the mark First stitch should be double stitched. Next two stitches should have quarter inch distance. I'm done with the stitching. I have completed the blouse here. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Please, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more videos. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.